Before we begin, make sure you're using the latest version of Trust Wallet. That way, you have access to the newest features and the latest security updates. Okay, so in this video, we'll go over how to connect to dApps. Now, what dApps are is they are decentralized dApps on Web3, and they allow you to do a number of things from playing games to accessing uh, financial applications. So the first step to do that in Trust Wallet is to go over to the Discover tab. Go ahead and select that. That's at the bottom right. And from here, you can see that we have a Discover DApp section. Now, this section goes through a number of DApps in different categories that you can scroll through. And if I want to as well, I can go ahead and select the expand arrow, and that will go ahead and open up an expanded list of DApps that we have listed. So in this case, what we can do is simply go ahead and select the DApp that we want to connect to. So in this case, we'll just choose the first one in the list, Ave. So let's select that. And then once open, you, you'd see that we have a connect wallet button. Now, in many cases, for most apps, it'll either say connect wallet or connect or something very similar to that. So what you want to do is go ahead and select that. And from here, you can see that trust is one of the options. So you'll want to go ahead and select that one. And then you'll go ahead and confirm the connection by selecting connect. And then you can see that you're connected since the address is there. And then at any time you can select disconnect as well to disconnect from the DAP. So let's X this out and go back to the list here. Now I'll show you one more way to connect to DAPs. Let's go back. And you'll see in this uh, discover section that there's a DAP URL or search function there. What you wanna do is just select that and then, for example, you can type in any DApps name to search on the web, or if you have the direct link, you can just type that in as well. In this case, I'll just use Jupyter as an example, even though I can go ahead and select it from my history or from the predetermined list that we have, but we'll just use it as an example here. So I'll just type in Jupyter app, for example. So we can just treat this as a regular search on the web. And then you'll see that there are many different options there. In this case, I know it's this one here. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then I'll go ahead and select launch Jupiter. Then I'll connect. And then you can see from installed wallets, you'll see the trust wallet logo. So we'll go ahead and select that. Again, just confirm the connection by selecting connect. And then that's it. You're in the you're in the DAP. And then you can always confirm that by looking usually at the top right or left. In this case, it's the top right. And I can see that my wallet address is connected in there. And I can see some of the assets I have in my wallet. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. And make sure to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.